Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Sunday, June 9th, 2024. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. We begin our readings today with Psalm 19. Psalm 19, for the choir director, the Psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the expanse proclaims the work of his hands. Day after day they pour out speech. Night after night they communicate knowledge. There is no speech. There are no words. Their voice is not heard. Their message has gone out to the whole earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming from his home. It rejoices like an athlete running a course. It rises from one end of the heavens and circles to their other end. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The instruction of the Lord is perfect, renewing one's life. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, making the inexperienced wise. The precepts of the Lord are right, making the heart glad. The command of the Lord is radiant, making the eyes light up. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are reliable and altogether righteous. They are more desirable than gold, than an abundance of pure gold, and sweeter than honey dripping from a honeycomb. In addition, your servant is warned by them, and in keeping them there is an abundant reward. Who perceives his unintentional sins? Cleanse me from my hidden faults. Moreover, keep your servant from willful sins. Do not let them rule me. Then I will be blameless and cleansed from blatant rebellion. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. As we continue reading in the book of Proverbs, we hear wisdom's call to us. Doesn't wisdom call out? Doesn't understanding make her voice heard? At the heights overlooking the road, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates leading into the city, at the main entrance, she cries out, People, I call to you. My cry is to the children of Adam. Learn to be shrewd, you who are inexperienced. Develop common sense, you who are foolish. Listen, for I speak of noble things, and what my lips say is right. My mouth tells the truth, and wickedness is detestable to my lips. All the words from my mouth are righteous. None of them are deceptive or perverse. All of them are clear to the perceptive and right to those who discover knowledge. Accept my instruction instead of silver, and knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is better than jewels, and nothing desirable can equal it. I, wisdom, share a home with shrewdness and have knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate arrogant pride evil conduct, and perverse speech. I possess good advice and sound wisdom. I have understanding and strength. It is by me that kings reign and rulers enact just law. By me princes lead, as do nobles and all righteous judges. I love those who love me, and those who search for me find me. With me are riches and honor, lasting wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than solid gold, and my harvest than pure silver. I walk in the ways of righteousness, along the paths of justice, giving wealth as an inheritance to those who love me, and filling their treasuries. The other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, gave us a lot more detail about what happened in that first part of 
what we consider to be Holy Week, that week that led up to Jesus' suffering and death. Uh, John does not give us much detail about those days. He's going to give us a lot more detail about what Jesus talked to his disciples about on the night that he celebrated the Passover with them. But as we draw this first part of Holy Week uh, to a close here in John's Gospel, John is going to point out how Jesus fulfilled the prophecies that Isaiah had spoken, and then give us a summary of Jesus's mission, spoken by Jesus himself. Jesus said this, then went away and hid from them. Even though he had performed so many signs in their presence, they did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word of Isaiah the prophet, who said, Lord, who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? This is why they were unable to believe, because Isaiah also said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, so that they would not see with their eyes or understand with their hearts, and to turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said these things because he saw his glory and spoke about him. Nevertheless, many did believe in him, even among the rulers. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, so that they would not be banned from the synagogue. For they loved human praise more than praise from God. Jesus cried out, The one who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And the one who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me would not re remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and doesn't keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't receive my sayings has this as his judge. The word I have spoken will judge him on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a command to say everything I have said. I know that this command is eternal life. So the things that I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.